Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to solve the logarithmic equation on the board. Now, when you look at this equation, one of the first things you will immediately notice is that these two log terms are in different bases. Here we have base 3 over 4, and here we have base 1 over 2. So, of course, you know that the first step to solving this logarithmic equation is going to be to make sure that we change these two log terms into the same base. And of course, to do that, we are going to use our change of base formula. Now, the question is, what new base are we going to work with? Now, here we have two. Here we have two. Here we have two. And here, this denominator, that is four, is a power of two. So it would be best for us to work in base two. So applying the change of base formula to these two log terms on the left, we have that log to base two, that is the new base of x over 3 over log to base 2 of the old base which is 3 over 4 plus log to base 2 of x over 2 that is this over log to base 2 of the old base which is 1 over 2 is equal to minus 2 now, at this point, let us remember the rule of logarithm that says that when we have log a over b, that we can write this as log a minus log b. So, with this rule in mind, we are going to further simplify the left-hand side of this equation. So, here we have log to base 2 of x minus log to base 2 of 3 over log to base 2 of 3 minus log to base 2 of 4. And here we have log to base 2 of x minus log to base 2 of 2 over log to base 2 of 1 minus log to base 2 of 2. And of course, this still remains equal to minus 2. Now, let us go through these terms one after the other. Here we have log to base 2 of x. Of course, you know that that is the unknown. That is what we are looking for. So, let log to base 2 of x be equal to u. u for unknown. So, we have u minus log to base 2 of 3. This cannot be further simplified. So, let log to base 2 of 3 be equal to k. k for constant. So, here we have k. Now, in the denominator, we have log to base 2 of 3. That is k minus log to base 2 of 4. Remember that 4 can be written as 2 to the power 2. And also, remember that when we have log to base a of a to the power b that this is simply equal to b so we have that log to base 2 of 2 to the power 2 is equal to 2 therefore log to base 2 of 4 is equal to 2 now coming over to this we have log to base 2 of x which of course is the unknown minus log to base 2 of 2 of course, you know that this is to the power 1 because anything raised to power 1 remains the same. And of course, we go back to this. So log to base 2 of 2 to the power 1 is simply equal to 1. So here we have 1 over log to base 2 of 1 is the same as log to base 2 of 2 to the power 0 because you know that anything raised to power 0 is equal to 1. And of course, we go back to this. So log to base 2 of 2 to, to the power 0 is simply equal to 0. So log to base 2 of 1 is equal to 0 minus log to base 2 of 2. This is exactly what we had here. And we've already found that it's equal to 1. And of course, everything remains equal to minus 2. Now look at this fraction. We have u minus 1 divided by minus 1. Of course, this is plus u. When you divide 
this by minus one, the simple thing that is going to happen is that this positive is going to change to negative and this negative is going to change to positive. So in essence, what we have on the left hand side of this equation is u minus k over k minus 2 minus u plus 1 is equal to minus 2. Now let us take these two terms over to the right hand side of the equation. When we do that, we have that u minus k over k minus 2 is equal to minus 2. Minus u going over the equality sign becomes plus u. And plus 1 going over the equality sign becomes minus 1. Of course, this right hand side is minus 2 minus 1. That is minus 3 plus u. So from here, we have that u minus k over k minus 2 is equal to u minus 3. And of course, you know that the next thing we are going to do is to cross multiply. When we do that, we have that u minus k times 1 is equal to k minus 2 multiplied by u minus 3. To open this bracket, k times u is u k. k times minus 3 is minus 3 k. Minus 2 times u is minus 2u. And minus 2 times minus 3 is plus 6. And of course, we have u minus k on the left hand side. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to take all the terms with u from the right hand side over to the left hand side. And to take all the terms with k from the left hand side over to the right hand side. When we do that, we have u minus u k plus 2 u is equal to here we have plus k and we have minus 3 k plus 6. Now simplifying this u plus 2 u of course is 3 u minus u k and here we have plus k minus 3k that is going to be minus 2k plus 6. So from this line we have that 3u minus uk is equal to 6 minus 2k. We have a common factor between these two that is u and when we factorize that 3u divided by u is 3. And minus uk divided by u is minus k. Here also we have a common factor which is 2. So we have 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And minus 2k divided by 2 is minus k. Next, let us divide both sides of this equation by 3 minus k. This is going to take care of that and this is going to take care of that leaving us with u is equal to 2 but let us remember that u is equal to log to base 2 of x and of course you know that when we have a statement like this it simply means that 2 to the power 2 is equal to x so this implies that x is equal to 2 to the power 2 which is equal to 4. So we have that 4 is the value of x that satisfies this logarithmic equation. Now let us check whether that is true. When we substitute x equal to 4 in this equation we have log to base 3 over 4 or 4 over 3 plus log to base 1 over 2 or 4 over 2. Now, you know that 4 over 3 can be written as 3 over 4 to the power minus 1. Because this minus 1 simply means that we are taking the reciprocal of 3 over 4. And of course, you know that the reciprocal of 3 over 4 is 4 over 3. Now, we do the same thing here. 
log to base 1 over 2 of. Meanwhile, 4 over 2 is equal to 2 over 1. So this can be written as 1 over 2 to the power minus 1. Now we can apply the power rule of logarithms. That is that rule that says that we can bring down this exponent to the front to become a multiplier. And when we do that, that means this is going to be minus log to base 3 over 4 of 3 over 4. Minus plus is going to be minus log to base 1 over 2 of 1 over 2. And now let us remember that log to base a of a is simply equal to 1. So here we have minus 1 because you have log to base 3 over 4 of 3 over 4 minus 1 because log to base half of half and of course minus 1 minus 1 is equal to minus 2. So the value of x that we calculated is right and with that we come to the end of today's exercise. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content Please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.